everyone! So, I was just looking through this uh, camera and I found some footage on here from, oh my god, way back when, uh, when was it? It was August 2016, so last, last summer, um, of when we first bought this house. And I think it was like a couple of days after we got the keys for this house, um, I come and did like a whole day of cleaning before we moved in and I was vlogging it and I basically took you around the house and showed you what it looked like just as we bought it. So I found the footage and I thought you know what why not just like sort of smush it all together and make some kind of video out of that footage because it's also really exciting for me to keep that footage um, of what the house looked like then and there's also some footage from me cleaning and saying goodbye to the rented house so when we moved back to germany sorry moved back from germany we rented a house until we found a house to buy um so you see that house as well empty um so it's kind of a bit of a weird mixture so you see this house empty and then there's a gap between the two videos where we must have moved into this house and then i went back to the rented house to clean it um so yeah i thought you know what why not smush it all together it's quite a good video um, I'll make a video out of it and plus at the end of it, so real time now, after living in the house um, a year and a half, what we've done to the house, so I can show you a few bits in the house that we've done, definitely, definitely going to show you the living area because that's like the one place that I'm really, really happy with, the living room and the dining room. As far as this area, the bar area, I'll show you a bit of this as well. Um, upstairs, not finished with the, with it yet, and same with the garden, we're not finished, it's not to the standard that I want it to be, so I won't be showing you that in this video, but I thought why not make a nice full video out of it, kind of full circle from when we bought it to living in it a year and a half, and yeah, so anyway, I'm going to let you get on with the video, and I'll see you at the end for the video to what the house looks like now, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. Good morning everyone. So today is, I have no idea what day it is, but it's a Wednesday and it's a special day because I'm actually going to go to our new house today and do some cleaning and we got the keys on Saturday. So it's going to be the first time we've been back since we got the keys. Very excited. I'm there all day. Um, for those that don't know, it is an hour away from where we live now, so I've got to make sure I take everything with me because I can't just like knit back. So um, I've just got the Hoover, I've got a spare TV, um, I'm taking this little one with me. So yeah, it's ten past seven, I'm up dressed and makeup -ed. Um I say dressed and I don't really look that presentable, I mean my hair's scraped up and I'm wearing baggy clothes, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. So let's go to the new house, let's go to the new house. So we are here, we're at the new house, I don't know why I'm um, like talking so quiet because we don't have any neighbours at this house which is fantastic. Um, I am trying to tune in an old TV here at the moment and it's not happening. I've managed to like, got a radio station, the phone signal is not very good, uh, Babaz is there in the sun in his bed, I've got no furniture in here, just that camp chair there. I've been here for about, how long have I been here on my own? Half an hour? It's boring already. We've no internet. No TV. It's a bit boring. Um, there's the outside. Do you see the garden? Um, yeah, I know I need to like motivate myself to clean. That's what I'm here for, to clean. But uh, it's very hard to motivate yourself. I need music, I need noise. So I've got the radio in there where I've managed to get a signal. So... I just like, I still think it's really early. I just want to chill and watch TV. But I can't get a signal! Which is so annoying! Basically, this TV is so old that we've lost the remote. Like, I mean, when, when was the last time you had a TV this small? So, years ago. So, um, I am like trying to do it all with the buttons on the top here. It's so dusty. And it's very difficult. I had to Google. Like stand in the kitchen and Google how to tune it in without using the remote because it keeps saying like press OK. Well, there's no OK button on the top of there, so I've, I Googled it and it was one of the volume buttons. You would never know that. Um, I haven't even been upstairs yet. We should go for a recce upstairs. 
let's go and have a look around upstairs. Okay, yeah, so this is the living room. It's completely not my style. I mean, look how pink that wall is. No, but I've lit a few Yankee candles. I've got a few going on. So living room. This is the, I will just turn you around. So this is the dining room. This is the view from outside. This is the view this way. I'm not gonna show you because it's outside and it, you don't want to see where I'm living. A little bit disappointed with this because it's been left dirty. So I have to clean that today. The oven has been left dirty as well, so we're actually going to get somebody in to come and clean the oven. Um, it's a nice oven. It's just, yes. And then this, the rest of it, there's the garden. Got my Yankee candle going on there. One of my new favourite Yankee candles, which is cherry vanilla. Love. Oh, these are all the cleaning stuff that I've brought. So many cleaning stuff. Look at these wipes. Big old butter wipes. So, anyway, let's go upstairs. So, the stairs look a bit rank. Let's put that on there. I need to open all these blinds. Open my blinds. Oh, You know when you touch something and it's not yours and it feels sticky? That's exactly what I'm experiencing right now. Touching sticky things. Okay, so then this comes into the second bedroom. That's a really funky light shade, actually. I don't even see that. I wonder if it works. Oh, that is funky. I like that. I might take that into the other room. I like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it has, like, built-in wardrobes. But, I mean, come on. How old are these doors? These doors are from, like, the 70s. I think these doors were actually here when the house got made. Um, then this is the master bedroom. I mean, it's big, thank God. It's a really big room. I don't know if it's showing up properly on camera and it's got another built-in wardrobe. These doors are so weird how they don't stay open. These doors are like 100 years old. Woo! Nice breeze coming through then. I understand why this door's like constantly moving. Um, okay, and then this is the box bedroom. This is gonna be my beauty room. Yes. This is gonna be a cute beauty room. Come back down. Weep. These squeaky stairs, these, you know. Squeaks. I'm back into the living room where my baby is. Like a good boy. Him. He hates it. You hate it, aren't you? You don't know where you are. It's okay. You're with mummy, so it's okay. Anyway. I'm now going to try and tune that TV in. I'm going to do it. It's like, it's like, um challenge and I have to put my phone on like the loudest the loudest setting and put it in here because you don't get no signal in here. I should have checked this. I really should have checked this before I moved here. Um <laughs> never mind. Um yeah so I need to clean but I can't motivate myself. My mum and dad my mum and dad are coming at eleven and my friend Natalie's coming this afternoon to help clean so yes anyway I'm sad okay I'll see you later so I have just I'm just having a break because I've just spent past uh, about 45 minutes to an hour cleaning the freezer I didn't even touch the fridge yet because it's an American style fridge and freezer I just see it over there um, basically one door is the fridge and one door is the freezer and I've just cleaned the freezer part and it's you have to sort of take all the parts out. It's been a complete kerfuffle to be honest. And I cut my finger right at the end there um, when I was cleaning it. Because all the parts that come out of it, like all the shelves, are just sharp. The plastic's just sharp. So I caught my finger and I was like, don't panic, it's fine, it's just a little cut. But the ends of the fingers bleed so much, so I got a bit panicked. Um anyway. It's fine, I've done that now. I'm just having a break and I was eating some Jaffa cakes. I haven't had the whole lot today, I opened them last night. Um, so I'm just eating some Jaffa cakes and drinking some water and just trying to chill for a minute. Um, obviously I haven't got this, like, any seats here apart from that camp chair in there. Um, so I'm just sat on the floor. Um, I may just say, look at this highlight. That's amazing. That is by Makeup Academy. Um, and it's 
the under eye shower skin highlight love um so yeah and i brought my phone in here but obviously there's no reception in here for my phone taco's a bit like a, a wandering around he just has no idea what to do with himself because he wants to go in and out and in and out and the garden is not secure yet um so i can't really let him out there on his own so but i know he doesn't need anything but he knows how to play me so basically he gets me out in the garden and then he knows i'll give him a t r e t <laughs> i can't say the word because he knows it to get back come back in um but anyway this whole no internet thing is killing me but I feel a little bit more like I'm glad I've come today because I just wanted to feel like a little bit more at home. And I think the more I like clean and just do things and walk around, it just makes you feel like it's your home. Oh my God, how cute. I just put in his bed. So I put his bed at the uh, back door there. So he can have a look around. Um, my mum and dad are coming at 11, they said. So they'll be here soon. Very excited about that. Uh, yeah, well, this isn't them, is it? Oh, it is! They're here! Hello! So, I was rudely interrupted by my parents coming. Rude. Um, they've just left now. Um, my mum helped me clean the rest of the fridge. So, the fridge and freezer is officially clean. Next job is all of the cabinets in the kitchen. So, I basically I ought to clean all the drawers, all the cupboards before I put any and my things in there. Um, we've hoovered the floor so the carpet's looking nice and clean. Um, everywhere's looking a lot cleaner and tidier. And the dog is pooped. I think he's just wondering what the hell is going on. So I'm just having, I'm having a five minutes breather before I go and start cleaning the rest of the kitchen. I'm super tired. I'm waiting for my friend Nat to get here because she's going to help me come and clean. Help me come and clean. She's going to come and help me clean. Um, so that's good. This whole not having, well like, what's it called? Not Wi-Fi. Not having Wi-Fi, not having 4G. It's kind of killing me a little bit because, you know, I need the internet. So like, I'm trying to Snapchat and it's taking about 20 minutes for one snap to actually go through. This is so annoying. That's why my phone's constantly in the kitchen, on the kitchen, like, windowsill. Um, but I'm tired now. We basically put this, jump in back to something else, we've put this cleaning stuff on the carpet, and then you hoover it up, and it's supposed to get rid of all the animal smells, because the people that lived here before us had, had a dog as well. So I just want to get Taco's smell on everything, really. Um, oh, I'm so hot. Oh, he's gone. Where's he going? What's he doing? Taco, what are you doing? Where's my baby? Come here. He wants to go home. This is your home now. Taco, come. Defiant, watch this. Taco, come. Come. Oh my God, does he look tiny in this room? Oh, he's so good. You're wondering what's going on, aren't you? Oh my god. So am I, kid. So am I. So after being here and having my mum and dad here and stuff, I sort of decided on a few things that we want to get done to this place. I mean, it's nice when you can be in it and actually have a look. So we're definitely going to get rid of the fireplace, which is there, around to the camp chair with the dog on it. Uh, just basically block that off. So make it into a plain wall. Um, then we're going to open up the staircase because that's been boxed in. And I think it looks so nice with just an open staircase. So yeah, I think that's all I'm, all I'm worrying about at the minute is just basically opening that up, blocking that up, maybe putting a radiator cover on that radiator or getting a new radiator. They basically painted the radiators. I'm not a fan of painted radiators. I think radiators are just white. That's just what colour they are. Yes. So it's either get a new radiator, which is quite trendy, because you can get some really nice radiators, or get a radiator cover for that one, but it'd be a big old radiator cover. Um, the colour scheme I'm going for in here, I can't believe I'm even telling you this at the minute. I've only been here for I mean, a couple of days. Um, I want to do greys and whites. 
greys, whites and silvers because um, that's just like the colours I really like. I love just modern, neutral, whites. So, what are you crying? What are you crying for? The dog is absolutely obsessed with the back garden. When my dad was here, my dad was just in the back garden the whole time with the dog. Um, so he just wants to play out, but I just cannot be supervising him whilst I'm cleaning. So, talking of cleaning, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get with the cleaning. Well, let me show you the fridge and the freezer. Now it's all nice and clean. No taco. No, you're not going out. So it's so much cleaner and tidy in here. But this is the fridge freezer, so look how much cleaner it is. Yes, it's like sparkling now. Um, I'm gonna have the rest of my lunch look. So I've got a sandwich there and I've got vegetarian sushi and some orange juice. So yeah, I do like this little thing for a wine bottle. I like that. Um, all the drawers were so flipping difficult to figure out how to put back in. I nearly brought the fridge a couple of times. These were all annoying, figuring out how to get these all back in. But I did it. That has been well annoying, do you hear that? That is because I've left the door open so it beeps. And when I was cleaning it, obviously I had to have the door open. It was continuously a beeping. So frustrating. Um, where's the dog? Still at the back door. So yeah, basically now I'm gonna clean all of these. It's just little things like there's like hairs in there and just crumbs and stuff. So I'm gonna clean all of them. And I'm waiting for Nat to come, I'm very excited. I'm just excited that one of my friends has come in, you know what I mean? You just want, you wanna share this fun time with your friends. Um, a Yankee Candle. This is my favorite Yankee Candle. It's the Garden Sweet Pea, so uh, that's been going since this morning and the house smells so, so good. And then the one in here, but anyway. Clean. Bye. Hello. So it is just after six. I think it's about twenty past six, something like that. And I'm done. I'm so tired. It's such a busy day. That's why I look like an absolute train wreck. Can we see this train wreck? Uh, let's see how the makeup's looking. No, it's not there. So I've done the kitchen. I've basically done cleaned the front of the doors cleaned at the inside of every cupboard, every drawer, every cupboard. So the kitchen is officially ready for things to go in the cupboards. The only gross, gross, gross thing there was in the entire kitchen, apart from the fridge, was the bottom drawer. Yes, it was disgusting. I pulled out the bottom drawer and it was just at the back of it. It was rank, absolutely rank. There was like so many crumbs and ugh, it was disgusting. So that's done now. Um, this little boy is ready to go home. He's so tired. He hasn't slept all day. And when he falls asleep, there's like a noise that obviously he's not familiar with. So he jumps up and he starts barking. So I'm definitely ready to go home. Definitely ready to go home. Um, even though I'm in my home, it's very, very weird. It's like, this is not my home yet, even though it's, it is our home. Right, I'm gonna try and chill now for about 10 minutes and eat some food because I'm just not, I mean, I've just not really stopped, but I mean, I have, because when Nat comes, she was an absolute sweetheart and she bought me a McDonald's. She bought me some nuggets and a milkshake and, so cute of her to do that, it was lovely. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this food and then I'm gonna go home. Hopefully Dave will be here by then. Ooh, this light in the fridge, yes. Um, but anyway, everything's fine. The house is clean-ish, downstairs anyway. Um, I just need to do the bathroom next week when I come. But yes, everything's good. Time to relax over and out bye hi everyone so today i am at the old house today i've been here all day cleaning and i'm eventually done so the house is clean and empty and i'm just doing the last final checks now i'm just going to go around and look in all the cupboards just make sure i've not forgot anything and get the wi-fi router I've got all this stuff to pack in the car i've got a little taco there but yeah i'm going to go upstairs and 
see. I've got everything. So weird. Not that it would be the end of the world if I forgot anything, but you know how it goes. Bathroom. The landlord has already come and put a new screen on. We had to have a shower curtain. Clean. Perfect. Back of the doors. Fine. Oh, I always check the toilet, and yeah, clean. Thank God. Then this room. This is a room we never used because it was always full of our stuff. Um, back of the door. Yours. Perfect. Bye house. Bye upstairs of the house. Right. I guess that's it. Oh, the downstairs toilet. Let's look in there. Let me check. It's all clean. I've not forgot anything. I'm just worried because like, I hang things on the wall that I forgot something. Back of the door. Um, perfect. Toilet. Perfect. Cool. We're officially done. Time to pack the car up and hit the road. Takes me about an hour to drive to the new house. I'm so boiling. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Hello, so I'm back. As I said at the beginning of the video, I was gonna show you a little bit of an overview of what the house looks like now after living in it for a year and a half. So, here we go. The first thing that is very noticeable is we took the partition wall out that blocked off the stairs. We opened the stairs up and I've got to say, it was probably one of the best decisions. It really did just open up this room unbelievably. So that was a no brainer. Uh, we've got new flooring down. So we got rid of the, all the carpets in here and got this white flooring all the way through, um, which I love. We also got the fireplace blocked up so we could have a nice U-shaped couch, which obviously I was living for. Um, what else did we do? We just basically did basic decorating, new skirting boards, and then in here we have the little bar area, which as you would have seen on the clips before, this was just kind of like a no space, and then this wasn't used for anything. And I had no idea how to use this space, but for some reason it just really works as a bar area. And because it's right off the kitchen, it just works. So yeah, this is kind of like a nice overview of the house and the doggy down there. There's still absolutely tons to do, but I'm happy with the progress we've made so far. Definitely, definitely happy with the progress we've made so far. There's so much more to do. There's like finishing little touches to do down here. All the new skirting boards need caulking. But yeah, I mean, we've done it all ourselves. We've not had anybody in to do any painting or decorating. We have done it all ourselves. So that's why it's took us a little bit longer than it would if you actually pay somebody to do it. But I think doing it yourself is part of the fun. And every thing in this house has a little story behind it because we've done it ourselves so I'm really happy with it I love living here hopefully uh, in the future I'll have another video which will show you all of the upstairs after it's done because it's still nowhere near being done yet but uh yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a long one but I think it's quite a good one I love seeing home improvements and the before and after in this living space crazy so anyway i'm gonna go thanks for watching this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye